welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing my current favorites for you guys yeah I decided I would just do a current favorites and then maybe do another September favorites later on if I have some more stuff to add but yeah this is all stuff that I've been loving since I got them I either got them over summer break or very recently so I'm here to share them with you guys and I'm super excited so let's go ahead and jump right in so my first thing that I want to share with you guys is this perfume and this is by Scentbird. They actually reached out to me in the summertime and asked me if I wanted to try out one of their products and I was like sure oh why not. So right now I have DKNY Be Delicious and if you guys don't know what Scentbird is, Scentbird is a monthly perfume or cologne subscription. You get a 30 day sample perfume and you get it for $14.99. 99 each month and you get to choose whatever perfume or cologne if you're a guy um, you get to choose whatever kind or scent that you want I do have a coupon code that I will share with you guys and it will be down in the bottom bar so if you guys wanted to see that and check it out you guys totally can I've been loving this scent I'm kind of obsessed with it and this is by far one of my favorite scents. I wear it almost every single day and I've had this longer than 30 days. I'm not a big perfume person so I think these are perfect and I can like switch them out with me anytime I want to take them on the go. just love how travel friendly this is so if you are a traveler or anything like that you can just throw it in your bag. I've been loving 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 this and they have tons and almost every single perfume or cologne that you can think of they have so you can definitely choose your own and yeah. My next few products are skincare related. So my first skincare product is a face mask and this one is by Boschka and I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not really sure. This is the charcoal pore pudding mask. I actually got this as a sample from Sephora. It's huge. I've had this for since summer and I haven't really made that much of a dent in it. I am just so in love with this. It just feels so good on the skin. It really kind of helps minimize your pores on your face. So what I do with this is instead of putting it all over my face, I like to just set it in my nose area around here and then I'll put a different mask all around my face. Do you want to try some more of Boschka's or Boschka's? I don't know how to say this. Um, face mask. Um, I heard they have a lot of different ones so I'm definitely in the hunt for some. I love face mask. I am obsessed with them. So my next three skincare items have been my saving grace. They have transformed my face so much like I am just I'm just I, I can't wait to share them with you guys the first thing that I tried out that changed the way that my face feels the way it looks and everything is the Burt's Bees clarifying toner this is their acne solutions toner I've been looking for a new toner for my face since I ran into my clean and clear you guys know if you guys have been watching me for a while that my clean and clear toner is my ride or die toner I use it every single day I've been using it since I was in high school and it's just the perfect toner for me but I was on the hunt for something new because I felt like my skin kind of got used to that. I decided to pick this up since it's all natural and um, I I I can't even tell you, I can't even begin to tell you how much this has changed my skincare regimen, my face, the way it looks, the way it feels. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite products. I use this morning and night. It has cleared up my skin so much. It feels so good on the face. And on top of that, everything in it is natural. There's nothing bad in here for you. I use it day in, day out. Like, I don't go a day without using this. My next product is another product from the same line as this one. This is the Burt Bees Natural Acne Solutions Pore Refining scrub now I only use this every other day at night and um, I love it it's amazing every oh I just scratched the f out of my face I probably have a mark on my face I just scratched the hell out of my face okay makes my skin feel so amazing and I I've been looking for a great exfoliator that will transform my face and really smooth out my skin and just really kind of get rid of any redness, any scars or anything like that on my face and this has been doing the job. So these two products together have been so incredibly great and they've transformed my skin. I'm telling you, they transform my skin. So my last skincare product was actually a sample product but I'm actually thinking about repurchasing it once I run out of it. This is the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity the vital power 
infusion and this is a serum I use this in the morning and night and I wipe it all over my face so after I get done cleaning my face toning my face I will put this on and this stuff is bomb.com I've never really tried any skincare products from bare minerals but I have been loving this since I got it and I'm almost done with it which I'm really really sad because then I have to go and actually purchase it so yeah I got this as a sample at Ulta and I've just been loving it it like I said it's just helped with skin texture and that's all I could ever ask for is making my skin nice and smooth and this has done the job of makeup tools that I've really been loving and um, the first set is some sponges now I got these sponges from Walmart these are the precision beauty Pro blending sponge and these are like a duo like they came together yeah I got these at Walmart this was eight dollars for the set and I'm obsessed with these sponges I am usually very skeptical about drugstore sponges because they always come off hard and too dense and you just can't do anything with them I was so incredibly surprised that these are squishy, they're easy to work with, they blend out makeup amazing, and I wanted to keep one dry so you guys can see the difference. So this one is the dry one and this one is pretty damp. It's I've had it out for a while so it's probably losing shape, but they're so squishy. This one's nice, but it gets even squishier and I'm just obsessed with these. So um, I think it's a great alternative to like the Beauty Blender or even like the Real Technique sponge. The texture is very similar to the Real Techniques when you start to wet it and everything. It's like very, very soft. I am a sucker for beauty sponges, so especially ones that are great. So I'm excited that I, you know, got those because they're amazing. They're just so incredible. So getting on to makeup, I have a couple of products that you guys have probably already seen me use or talk about, but I'm just going to mention them again. So the first one is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. Mine is in the shade 205 Natural Beige. I did a first impression on this. I've used it every single tutorial since I got it, and it's just one of my absolute favorite foundations right now. I haven't used another foundation since I got this. If that doesn't tell you how great it is, then I don't know what does. I'm wearing it right now. It looks beautiful. It's just such a great foundation. I already have backups of this, so I don't run out of it. it gives you just such a beautiful look, and I am just obsessed with it. So yeah, you guys have probably seen me mention this multiple, multiple times, but I thought I would throw it in here again. My next product is the Urban Decay Naked Skin, the Perfector High hybrid complexion perfector and um, yeah so mine's on the shade medium light which I think is a little bit too light for me but I thought the one up would be too dark so I got this one anyway I have been loving this so much I use it on a daily basis so now that I'm student teaching I actually go for very minimal makeup and I just don't want to wake up early and put on a full face of makeup that's just not me I like to take the easy way out and this is the easy way I just rub it all over my face with my fingers put some powder over it and I am ready to go this is such great it evens out my skin tone it looks good on the skin and lasts all day so my next current favorite is my Kat Von D locket translucent powder I've been obsessed with this since I got it and I was so torn between getting this one or the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I ended up going out with this one so I've been loving it. I use it for all over setting. I use it for baking underneath my eyes. I use it for setting my eye primer. I use this thing for so much. It looks good on the skin. A lot of people complain that it made them look super dry but I don't have that problem and I just love it so much. So yeah I've been loving 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 this. So my last products are two eyeshadow palettes and my first one is a cheap eyeshadow palette that is amazing it's so good so this is the elf mad for matte eyeshadow palette this is what it looks like it's all dirty jeez I should have cleaned this 10 eyeshadows for ten dollars this palette is ten dollars at your local drugstore online wherever you can find elf you can probably find this palette it has such a great range of colors you have your lights you have your darks you have your in between colors and this is one of those palettes that I use almost on an everyday basis it's just so beautiful so cheap and honestly you this is just amazing it's one of my favorite elf palettes all the colors are beautiful you can do so many different looks with this and I am just obsessed with it so if you guys are wanting to see some tutorials with this you guys should definitely let me know down in the comments below and yeah I thought about doing an elf one brand tutorial so if that's something you're interested in too then definitely let me know 
And my last palette that I've been obsessed with is the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. So this is the palette and I am just, I love it so much. This is another palette that stays right on my desk and I can't get enough of it. I use it every single day. Between these two, I just... I, I don't know I can't get rid of them but you can do so many different looks with this I do have a tutorial up with this already if you guys are curious but I am just kind of obsessed with it it's one of my favorite palettes right now pigmentation is off the charts good if you guys own any of the Anastasia palettes you guys know that the pigmentation is always like on point hey guys so that is it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it I really wanted to come on here and share with you guys some of my favorite products that I've been loving currently and these are it these are the products that I've been using non-stop for the past couple of months I love trying new products and the best part about doing YouTube and doing makeup is trying out new products from different brands and just expanding and that's probably my favorite thing now usually every month I do monthly hits and misses but I didn't have any misses so far so that's a good thing um, so I thought I would just to go ahead and do a current favorite if you guys have any video requests definitely leave them down below for me because I am always trying to come up with new ideas and sit down and make sure that I am ready to go for the weekend let me know if you guys have tried any of these and if you guys loving them hating them so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it don't forget to follow me on all of my social media you guys can find me on instagram snapchat for sure because i'm always sharing cool stuff on there uh twitter all that stuff and don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye